Hello and welcome to this tutorial about PVLib. In this video, we will learn how to define the PV system we want to simulate in PVLib and how to use it together with the model chain and the location we defined in the prior videos. So to get started, we import the PV system class by typing from pvlib.pv system import pv system then we create an instance system equals pv system and we move our cursor here control i and now we get the infos about our pv system class um, we will need um, informations about the PV modules we want to use, the inverters, the orientation, and um, the so-called temperature model. So um, I'm going to start up here uh, with the orientation. So the surface tilt is the first uh, thing I'm going to enter. And after that, the surface azimuth. The surface tilt tells us at which angle um, the um, PV module is installed and the surface azimuth tells us in which orientation our um, PV model is, in, is installed. So I go back um, at my cathedral example for my um, hypothetical PV module. And as you can see, uh, the roof has a southern orientation and well some angle um, so the default for the azimuth actually is 180 which is the southern orientation but i'm gonna uh, enter it anyway so you can um, later on adjust it to your needs so we start with surface tilt and let's say it's like a 45 degree angle then we have the surface azimuth which is 180 <clears throat> and um, that way we have the orientation of our system defined. Next we want to tell um, the model what modules and inverters we're actually using and for this we can um, use the databases that um, PVLib provides. We can have a look at them by typing um, database, database uh, equals pvlib dot pv system dot retrieve sam. And uh, if you move our cursor here, hit Control I you um, also get the information on which databases are actually available. Um, the names can be found here. And as you can see, there are different databases for modules and inverters. And uh, we're actually going to use the uh, Sanjo module database for the modules and the CEC inverter database for our inverter. So I'm just going to copy this here and enter it here and then say that this contains the Sanjia modules like that. Then for the inverters it's basically the same command. Um, just gonna say it's the CC inverters and I use this keyword to get them. So now I'm quickly going to comment out my system here and run the code so you can have a look at those databases. Yeah, if you move your mouse over here to the variable explorer, you can actually see um, the, the databases. The Sanjo modules has a total amount of 523 modules and the CEC inverter base has a, an amount of 3,264 inverters. So quite uh, powerful. 
you can uh, also double click and look at the uh, the database here and what we will need uh, is the name uh, up here oops uh, which basically gives us the parameters that are in the corresponding column so i already chose uh, inverter and module and i will put them in the description of the videos so um, we're going to retrieve our single module by typing model, module, module, like that, equals Sandia modules. And then in the uh, square brackets, we enter the name of the PV module we want to use. And then we're going to do the same for the inverter. Inverter equals CEC inverters, square brackets, and the name. As I said, I'm going to put those in the description of the videos. All right, now we have our module parameters and the inverter parameters extracted. So we can also enter them here in our system model. So it's uh, going to be module parameters equals module and inverter parameters equals oops inverter inverter perfect <clears throat> now the last thing we need is the so-called temperature model the temperature model describes what happens to your PV module as the sun starts shining on it. Because if something gets hit by the sun, it heats up. And if a PV module starts heating up, it has implications on the efficiency of the PV module. And that's why we'll include it here. I'll show you how to get the data out of uh, PV lib corresponding to the uh, temperature model and in a later video we will go on more detail of the uh, temperature model itself. So first we're gonna type from pvlib dot temperature import all caps temperature model parameters. Great. Now we're also going to create an instance of this temperature parameters equals temperature for reasons. Now we're also going to access the data provided by pvlib. First we enter the first database and from this we're going to take the open rack glass glass temperature parameters. So and these we can then also use in our um, system instantiation by typing temperature model parameters equals temperature parameters. Now we can save and run the code to see our system being initialized. And now we can actually um, uncomment this model chain part and also run the code to create our model chain. And if that 
succeeds without any errors, you'll have your first PV model model chain ready to go. Last thing we need now is information about the sunlight. And that's what we're going to look at in the next video. So that's it for this video. If you ran into any issues so far, feel free to leave a comment below. Also, if you have any remarks on what I showed you so far, you may comment uh, below this video as well. As always, stay curious, be kind, and we'll meet again in another video. Bye.